Greetings, mortals. I am the Fallen Shogun, and we are back within Songs of Six. The songs are being sung once more, and so the Empire of the Fallen will rise once more. I've said it, but there's a large population, and there's also frequent raids. Or is it common raids? There's raids. And we have a brand new part of the world. I have picked an area with mountains. A river. And apparently lots and lots of greenery. Now, red areas, I think, are like raw resources. Stone, green is obviously like resources of uh, plants and so on. And we are going to set up our new city. Or citadel. Now, right now, you've got to set up your like throne room. I'm thinking dead centre, so we can expand. Although the river might be a bit closer. Maybe here? Yeah, here. And we've begun. Now, it's a little bit different. There's three groups now. There's the Dondorians, who are sturdy. No one's to join us. We have ten Cretonians and a Gantor. Now, first of all, we're going to need to start building things. They've changed how construction works. As you can see here, a room copier. But yeah, if I do a dormitory, it automatically puts on walls. So if I could do this, like I do a 10 by 10, let's say. It'll put a wall, so that's actually a 12 by 12. So it's changed it a little bit, so you don't have to have walls on all your stuff. But obviously, it's a good idea to have walls on all your stuff. Not walls, but walls. Do that. I don't like it, but it'll work for now. So yeah, this is here, obviously I'm going to put a door down, and this is our first area. Now obviously, it's pretty meh. 23 beds, my people will be happy sleeping in it. Now, other things have changed too. Agriculture, like hunting and fishing, is now rooms. If I do a fishery building, you're looking for these areas, which are obviously very good. Like this is eh, and there's red, which is really bad. If I do this here, it sets up on the green areas, but you also need to build upon the ground. Your buildings now need storage. Like that, so obviously a little bit of hooks in a bit, why not? Like that. So now I have a fishing area here, which obviously needs stone and wood. And obviously I'm going to be building things a bit faster, just showing you how things have changed, how things have worked. I also need to fell some trees, let's do that and that. But the big thing we need, of course, is food, uh, place to sleep, place to live, and uh, storage. So we need to put down a small warehouse without the walls. We just need some crates to start storing resources. Oh, I can't do that to that bloody tree. Oh, everything here is technically temporary for now. Obviously, I'd like to not be temporary, but we'll take it. So yeah, obviously we get down a place to sleep, a place to store stuff. We'll be needing stone and wood, so we can just quickly go mark some areas out to destroy them. We can't actually get most of the resources right now until we have somewhere to store it. So right now, of course, we're just destroying trees and stuff. But yeah, the beginning of our base will be pretty simple. We only have ten people. We have three coming in. Now, if you left click, you can actually accept immigrants. So I just accepted those three people. And if I do it again, I accept that. So now I have 14. So you can see how many want to join you from each faction. And you can accept them or not. Of course, accepting too many early on might get you killed. So you've got to be a little bit careful. It says here it needs furniture. Okay, at least this will be good. The warehouse will be up. Well, we need furniture production for the very beginning. Oh, I hate that. It dug around the tree. Okay. So we have the warehouse up. Once the warehouse is up, we start getting supplies brought in. Once supplies are brought in, we start doing other things. So obviously, this requires stone and wood as well. But in the very beginning, we're going to have yeah, slow growth. There we go. Build it. But it is what it is. We just need it to be done. And now they're building the inner area. But yeah, as you can see, getting things constructed is pretty good. 
Now, one thing we'll be needing is to put down farmland as well. The entire starting area will look like an absolute mess. And then we can start well, actually producing. What is this? Is that the area? Oh. That's a big area. That's new. Okay. Let's have four crates for that. Let's get some for the for the some for that. There we go. Uh, let's have some for the fruit. The veg. I don't know. Like that. There we go. So you can change the radius, you can change how many people are working here, so I want at least one person working here. Actually, I want to have two people working here. And that's obviously as we start getting more people. Now, of course, we start having other things, so we need very basic stuff. The industry needs a carpenter. Again. Do this. We get a workbench down. Take that. Auxiliary stations, just so I can. So yeah, the entire starting area will be pretty, pretty basic. We'll actually bring in a Nondorian. Welcome, our random person who everyone hates. So we're going to get some fish, we're going to get some supplies, and of course then we're going to start actually building a proper city to level awesome. It's going to take a while. Now like I said, we have to get the agriculture down, otherwise my people are going to eat all the supplies. So let's get 10 by 10 here for fruit, and 10 by 10 down for veg. The big issue you'll get at the very beginning is accidentally eating all your supplies. But yeah, as you can see, things are going on nice level. We're needing more wood. We're needing more supplies. We don't really have much in the way of things being useful. But we can, of course, uh, keep on going. Now, to get more resources, we'll actually be needing a woodcutter. Let's put you here. And here. Okay, I'd like you to have three employees. And you to also have three employees. Now that will grab me wood, which will help me start expanding. And of course this guy should hopefully grab the wood. Let's bring three people, as you can see, slowly starting to fill with wooden supplies. So construction is now a thing that's ongoing. Of course, we're also building a lot of things and we have very few people. So it's going to take a while. Seven food. Ugh. But yeah. Slow starting, slow going. I've got to stop mousing over that. And we're probably going to get attacked and destroyed. Second day of summer. Oof, we'll be going quite well. There are 17 people, but yeah, it's going to hopefully grow bigger and better. But right now, we just need to survive. Which is going to take a while, because of course, we're trying to build things. So actually, probably need another two here. Okay, so we've got five people working here and six people working here. That's 11 out of 17. That's good. Which means the remaining six should be doing well. We're actually going to drop this down to two. We need people to actually build for us. Anyone who doesn't have a job will build for us and also cut down trees and things. Of course, we'll also be needing some stone, which we're going to have to destroy ourselves, but you know. So there's still a little bit nearby. There we are. Down to five days of food. No, I don't want to reconstruct room. I want people to finish the room. But yeah, as you can see, things are coming along. We need the carpenter to build beds. We need the bedroom for people to sleep. We need the fishing area for people to eat. It's going to take a while. Do not have any fruit or veg? Are we only... Oh, it's just got meat left. Oh no. Where's all the fruit and veg? Oh no. Luckily, we also have the option of finding it? Harvest wild edibles. Come on, find all the wild edibles. So yeah, we do have wild edibles which we can of course harvest throughout the year. Okay, this is nearly done. This will be done soon. They're constructing it. There we are, eight employees. Oh, let's just drop this down to four employees. No workers assigned, no storage for finish. Okay. Uh, furniture, furniture, furniture. Meep. 
So it's not the best looking place. It's going to absolutely annoy me till it is. But yeah, until that point, we're going to get stuff going on. Okay, we finally got some fruit and veg we just found. We actually have resources, we have supplies, we can obviously keep on growing, going and hoping. And obviously fishing is nearly done as well. So food will no longer be an issue. 13 days, yeah, food's no longer an issue, we have 13 days of food. We can now start prepping for gloriosity, which is going to take longer. An awful lot longer. I need to check something. So I want to have a military training ground for my area. How big is the biggest training dummies? Seven by four. So they need a nine by six. Nine by six. Nine by twelve minus one. So they need a nine by eleven. Okay. So I'm going to build two, a big training ground. Out of this, which will take a while. Nine by eleven. Actually, it should be the other way around. Just like that. Actually, no, it should be rest of the walls. Oh. Wait, what? Okay, so as you can see, we do this, and this will be our official training area where we will have our military guards done. Now, obviously, this is going to take a while to do because it's made out of materials we don't yet have, like cut stone and stuff, but we are prepping for the future. This will be a prep for the future and also teach me where I need to put my stuff. And this is obviously the great and noble temple or whatever. Yes, yeah, the noble temple or, or, or what else. We have food, we have supplies. In fact, this is being built. Once this is done, we can start expanding, which means I'm going to start preparing an area for the beginning, which will take a bit of a while to plan, I feel. Although food is still okay. Farming, fertility, fertility is alright. We have plenty of river we can dig up if need be. No, I don't want to reconstruct river, stop asking me that. And we also have fishing. So this is actually pretty good. We have fishing set up, we have farming set up, we can gather wild materials. And I actually quite like this fishing, although I wish people would stop, you know, washing themselves in my fish. That doesn't seem hygienic. We can now start beginning. So yeah, I'm going to start planning my city out from here down to here. Let's begin. Key montage.
Okay, so as you can see, not really that much has been done. I have set up the roads, I've set up a bit of niceties. Mostly this is just construction going on to make the place look nice. It's not going to be that useful. We have four big warehouses situated in front of the palace. This will be obviously storage and equipment and resource. Now I'd like to have like a proper area for storage later. But this area here is obviously down the main road. The big storages are where I'd want my equipment and resources. Now on the west we have the chambers. The chambers of course where the rich people live. So the rich people are right next to the palace. In front of the palace is of course the resources and equipment which keep the empire alive. I, personally as emperor, want to watch my resources flow in and out of my city. So I care about seeing these more than I care about the rich. I want to see the beating lifeblood of my people so I know I can strangle it when I want to. Now I'm also going to actually have more things but let me have a quick check of something. So we're back, so... I say we're back, we're back-ish. So what I want to do is, the south area here, I want to turn into the living quarters. The main peasanty living quarters. Now the problem is, I've never really worked with these, what are they called? Chambers. And obviously, actually I've not worked with, I've, I have no worked with, what are they called? Flat houses. So I'm very kind of curious. One, two, three, four. There. I'm very curious to see how they go. Because it looks like they designed apartment style, because how it says apartment on them. Obviously I could just build them out of wood to start with and then delete them later. Because obviously wood grows where stone I, what used to be finite. I can do that. How many of these can I have? And I can't really build them now anyway because they have carpets. I can already using carpets even if I don't add carpets. So... Unfortunately, we can't currently just drop them in, but maybe this is what we're looking for. This. Obviously, these have to be a bit further in because this path around here is a bit annoying. We do this. We get one. We get four in the middle. And this gives us the beginning. Of our storage of our areas. Now we can also do this. Yeah, actually make it a little bit more organic. Because this now looks more organic than this. And I quite like the look of this. So I'm just going to straight up delete these jobs. So maybe that's what we're looking for. Nice and organic. But I'm still going to have it a bit uniform. Unfortunately, I suffer from making it look uniform. And there we go, we have the beginnings of our city area. That doesn't look organic anymore. It looks alright though. So yes, yeah, what we're looking at. done it again. I just can't draw straight lines which look vaguely normal. What's wrong with me? Now one of the big things we're going to have, of course, is we need a lot more people. We have the food, we have the resources. I do enjoy the fact that fishery is a thing. I think stone is also a thing. I'm going to build one over there which we get enough people. But it's going to take a while to do things. Now I can suspend jobs like that, as you can see. Which means they're not going to be built. And that's good, because obviously that means I can do other things, and hopefully I can prioritise that. I don't know if this existed before, I don't feel it did. But yeah. So yeah, I've been the Fallen Shogun. This is a quick, short one to get us in. The Empire will rise, the area down below will carry on becoming an awesome area, and there may even be a few more montages of me building, which has done a bit better. Because I can't really slow it down as much as I'd like. But either way, I've been the Fallen Shogun. Welcome to the Song of Six. The Six being the great empire we will build. And the Song being the lamentations of their women. Either way, ciao. So now it'll be awesome, be epic. And I will, of course, hopefully, be seeing you next time.